There we go. Mr. Wayleg. Ah, you see? I was right. Now I got I got to get ready here. <laughs> I can't uh I can't fool around. I've been beaten many a times. My opponent has also disallowed take back, so I better be um I better be very cautious. And they're also saying that the stream is muted. Is it? Can I can I believe that one? Can I be a believer on that one? Okay. I might have to throw out some duds. He doesn't need my advice. Let me get this in here. If c4, I have to be I have to be very cautious about bringing that bishop out. But now, do I have any problems? Do I? I really just want to take this knight, I think. Before he pivots on this square. I'm considering it. Should I do that? Bishop takes knight. This pawn's going to come under some heavy fire. Yeah, probably not a good idea. Yeah, let's not do that. I'm going to play here. I'm looking at c5 and queen b8. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't... Okay, well... Forget about bishop takes knight now. It'll be this knight that ends up coming here. Let's go. c5... Maybe rook c8 first or something. We're going to have a lot of tension going on with the c and d pawns. I know it. There we go. I knew it. I knew it. Uh, so what do you do here? Take or just maintain uh, this center? Could end up with the resulting uh, hanging pawn structure. If I do this, is everything going to be okay? So far it's symmetrical. Kind of. Except for the bishops. Okay, copycat game with the pawn structure. Strip the board of everything but pawns and everything's the same. And, oh, well, actually, you know, everything's the same except for the bishops there. Okay, tension between these guys I got to take. And do I throw another piece on here? Or I just play my rook here? I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> I don't know what I want. How about castle? Knight here? Is that going to be a problem? Rook here? Eventually queen here? Is that going to be annoying? Mm. It's castle. I'm not fearful of that knight coming to c6. Should I be? Maybe. Rook c8, queen c7, queen here, or queen to b7. I think I want to get queen on b7. If pawn takes pawn, what do I do? Recapture with the pawn because I can't deal with the knight coming to c4, can I? No way. If takes takes, then I could be putting in a, a third attacker on the knight on e5. That's one thing that could maybe be benefiting me in some way. But maybe my most, uh, my, maybe my biggest concern is this knight move to c6. So I want to take that out of the equation first. Rook c8. Watches over c6, but I am fearful of queen coming out here. I'm going to throw a third attacker on the knight. Something needs to be done now. Pawn push, then I can look into here, okay? Hang on now. Hang on. What about chop, chop, bishop here, remove the knight, get to e4. Did you catch that one? Chop, chop, bishop here, take a knight, plant a knight, take a knight. Looking for a good versus bad bishop situation. I don't think it's that clear. <laughs> it's not as squeaky clean as you may think. Maybe it is. Let's do this first. Let's see. Can I get a knight here? Bishop for knight exchange? Rook's going to come here. I have to get off this file soon, and I also have to move quick. Chewing up a lot of time here. Precious time. Let's go. I want to get here. <sighs> My main idea, kill that knight. Kill the knight. Coming up. Mm -hmm. Rook c1. Pawn takes, I take with the pawn. I think it's better to keep this uh, tension right here. There is possibilities for as long as my e6 pawn is around, there's possibilities for f5. And then this could become a big issue. 
My main thing, get rid of him. As soon as F4... Oh, now I could go here right away. Can you believe that one? Believe that one. Hmm. Alright, let's go here. Let's see uh, what my opponent has up their sleeve. Chop, chop. Pawn push. It's a little bit scary. Well, I could actually play here next. Okay, now I'm seeing a decent reorganization of my pieces. First off, though, let's get the queen out of any nonsense. She's watching over the knight, so maybe there's uh, possibilities for me taking on this square, but probably won't want to do that. Ooh, okay, well, where do I go, bishop? Where do you want to go? If I go here, I have to contend with an eventual c5 with tempo, maybe. Yeah, let's just come here. I, I gotta go quick here. I <laughs> have an advantage, almost, for white. Uh, tense game. Tense game as usual. Usual. I like that if this move is played, I could take on this square, because my, my queen is watching over this, and then, you know what? I can maybe pivot about on the d5 square. I might be wanting to do this move. Is, is the knight going to come back to challenge this guy? Maybe. Or maybe takes, takes, knight here, and then I come back to b7. I think this is the best square for my queen. So I have this capture available for when this move is played. I don't want to allow the structural change to occur by way of b4 and c5. That's going to be very annoying. Establishing a 3 versus 2 majority and a connected pass pawn. This guy still looks a little bit silly, but if there's a connected pass pawn like that, uh, I, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Focus here. Pawn push. What do I do? Flight square? This, this, this square is covered a lot. I'm not afraid. Am I? What about a6, b... F no, don't do that. You get hit with c5. I think I want a flight square. Let's get a flight square in there. We got heavy pieces on the board. The king wants a little, a little place to run. He wants to be able to run away. If he needs to run, he can run. What about rook here? I, I just want the, the pawn structure to be clarified here. Can we get that, please? Ah. Chop, boom, boom, or just boom right away? Right away. Right away. Reinforce this e4 knight. And now this rook definitely wants to be here. Maybe I should have done that instead. Oh, man. Let's go. Get all my pieces working. Is this move going to be played? No, you know, I could always chop and then grab on B. So that's something my opponent has to watch out for. Or you know what? You know what I might be wanting to do? Take and then play here. Mm. Ooh, time issue. <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? Mmm. I'm going to try it. Please say it's going to be okay. Is it going to be okay? I got to get this d5 square. It's the main idea. You know what I also have to do? Stop a knight before move. Maybe I want to plant up here on d5 with my queen. If I do it right away, knight here kicks it away. Queen takes pawn stuff. Less than 50 for each of us. Uh-oh. Down to the wire. This is bullet time. My mouse better be treating me well. Well. <laughs> um, C5, A5, C6, queen here opposite the king. I could weasel my knight around to F5 maybe at some point. Target this guy. Oh, I could kick this knight away. I could take this pawn also. I think take the pawn. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Ooh, okay, opponent's flying, definitely flying, he's flying here, ooh, no, 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 let's take this knight before there's knight c6 stuff, okay, now I have a good knight, take off the queens, no, I want to immediately come here, I don't want to have to deal with knight c6 with tempo, I'm on the bishop, my knights are very good, 
How do you, whoa. Okay, let's take the queen and then attack the knight and then get the pawn. So now this is going to be a liability. Back rank issues as well since I have control over f2. Just plant my knight here. It's got to be right. I'm okay if the knight takes here. It's very sidetracked and I get the b pawn. There's no time either. Now I think I move this pawn, save him. If the knight moves, I could take here. Time. Good game as usual, Mr. Wayleg. All righty. Um, let me back up here. My opponent is typing that they uh, lost track of time. I know the feeling. <laughs> I do that too. I definitely do that too. Okay, so let's go back and flip this board. Really tense here. So, all right. I think uh, tight middle game struggle, no doubt, right here. A lot of tension. You could see it turning into a hanging pawn structure at, for either side, really, as soon as b6 is played. Takes, 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 and black would be saddled with the hanging pawn structure, or I could impose similar on white. Uh, that doesn't happen in this game, but I think white is standing better here, having this knight on a strong square, and I think where things now shift is with this last move, where maybe the evaluation starts to now change. I think after f4 and uh, me running with trying to eliminate the defender of e4 and get my knight on this uh, hole, uh, in that hole on that uh, e4 square, I think it's maybe starting to now tip in black's favor i don't know I, I i can't be sure might have some might something else have uh maybe something else scared me here bishop b4 knight right there i don't know this is starting to look pretty good i think the knight being on that square very difficult to work around it must be maybe there's something better instead of f4 how about um knight here I guess it does allow for knight to e4 still. I really don't know. I'm struggling to find uh, a decent uh, improvement maybe instead of the f4 move. Seems like it's okay. Or is it? I don't know. What are? I need some suggestions here. <laughs> Somebody in the Twitch chat, throw something out there. What else can maybe white be doing here? Because as soon as I start to pivot about on the e4 square, I don't know. It seems like that's uh, going to be benefiting black. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Let me, let me run further into this one. H3 is being suggested by uh, D wins, just making a, a waiting move. But I am on that knight three times. Something has to be done with that e5 knight. Uh, some other crazy suggestions going on out there. A queen sack, queen g4 <laughs> is being suggested. So. Um, I don't know. How about how about maybe taking the knight and getting this other one in there, and maybe something with f5. I really just don't know. It's it's just too too tight a position, and I I don't want to devote too much time to trying to come up with something uh, from just this five minute game. But tense as always. I mean, we all have, both both of us have our pieces working. Uh, maybe, maybe the, okay, the knight move, we're also in time pressure. Maybe it's best to just run with the c5 move. And uh, I, I think going with a5 was going to be important, and then maybe even c6 as a follow-up. I can't be sure, but, um, tight game as usual. And, uh, the attention that I've been giving to this game right here is really on, uh, the different pawn moves and how, um, f4, you know, weakens e5, and maybe there is this c5 ID instead of the night before, but we were both in time pressure at that point. But okay, uh, good game as usual, White Leg.